let us try to understand the electronic configuration of the 19th element that is potassium potassium has an atomic number that is z of 19 therefore the number of electrons in potassium are also 19 now to uh, write its electronic configuration let us try to understand the electronic configuration from this first now we all know that uh, the first shell of any atom can have maximum of two electrons so we in the first shell we put two electrons in the second shell we can put maximum of eight electrons so this comes out to be two plus eight ten we are left with remaining nine nine electrons now now if we put the if we put electrons in this way if you put nine electrons in the m shell this is actually an incorrect way the reason is the third rule which we did that that is the outermost shell of any atom can never have more than eight electrons so if you're putting nine electrons this is actually not following the third rule so therefore the correct way of writing the configuration is that we put two electrons in the k shell eight electrons in the l shell we put eight electrons in the m shell also and one electron in the n shell because now here n is the outermost shell and the outermost shell is not having more than eight electrons in it therefore the correct electronic configuration for potassium is 2, 8, 8 and 1 okay or 2 in the K shell, two in, uh, 8 in the L shell, 8 in the M shell and 1 in the N shell or the other way is this. So these are the only two ways of writing the correct electronic configuration for potassium and let us try to understand this wrong uh, thing and the entire concept with the help of orbital structure. Now this is how we put uh, say 2 electrons in the K shell 8 electrons in the L shell and we have put 9 electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 electrons in the M shell as I have already told you the third rule states that the outermost shell can never have a more than 8 electrons in it so we cannot put electrons in this way so the correct way of putting these electrons will be that we actually put this electron in the outermost shell and therefore this is going to have two electrons in the k shell eight electrons in the l shell eight electrons in the m shell and one electron in the n shell so having the correct electronic configuration of two eight eight and one and it has four shells k l m and n